this is like the strangest work anyway hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pamela and I'm gonna give you a five minute review of Birds of Prey so this movie came out a long time ago but I'm just trying to make videos for every single review that is on my website which you can check down below um, and anyway sorry <laughs> Uh, so Birds of Prey came out like in Valentine's Day if I'm not mistaken and or around February anyway and to me this was like except an exceptionally great film for so many reasons but primarily because I thought that the name fit the storyline and the message that the story was trying to give so perfectly in my eyes this film definitely encapsulated this whole new era feminism of trying to be a free woman and I'm trying to emancipate yourself from not only the standards of the world but the standards within the industry itself so I've heard from a bunch of my friends and a bunch of the people that like superhero movies and supervillain films that they didn't really like the film well I'm sorry son but the film itself says an emancipation of Harley Quinn which if you don't know what that means she's just completely detaching herself from all past conventions and to me that's what made the film amazing incredible perfect fantastic um, and not only that I just think that the the amount of effort that went into this film from everyone but specifically Margot Robbie was incredible her acting was incredible her makeup was incredible she did her own stunts which <laughs> I don't know, I respect the woman so, so much, and I really hope to see her in the future uh, being nominated for some Oscars again, because I really think that while Suicide Squad wasn't that great and definitely didn't deserve an Oscar nomination, this one definitely does, um, just because of the level of production engagement that was in this. Um, <laughs> I just uh, I just realized I haven't even mentioned what the storyline, the premise of the story is, so... Basically, Harley Quinn, she's known as the Joker's girlfriend, unfortunately, which is sad because we nobody wants to be known as somebody's girlfriend or somebody's boyfriend, um, which is why they made this film. So <laughs> um, she breaks up with him or he breaks up with her. Still, we need, we, that's not relevant. The point is she does, she's no longer with him and she is trying to become her own woman, okay? And that comes with all the dangers of living in Gotham and stuff. Um, side point, we don't really know where the frick we are in the DC universe chronologically or we don't even know where Batman is at this point either. I'm very confused. DC is like... But anyway, um, it's an incredible film. I totally recommend it. If you... Take everything with a grain of salt, meaning that it is not going to be one... It's not going to look like any other film, superhero film that you've seen, and it's not meant to. So, if you go in expecting that, then you're not going to like it. And I'm not sorry about that, because that's the point. Uh, but yeah, it's a great film. I hope you like it. And if you do watch it, don't forget to tell me what you think about it on the comments down below. And share this video if you liked it. Uh, thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to see all the other videos that I'm going to be posting. Um... As I mentioned, ch go check out my website to see all the other reviews that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to post there a lot more regularly than I'm going to post on my channel. And um, yeah, I hope to just see you soon.